And these have been a pain. Those are the names of all the fallen soldiers he has engraved on his shield. It's actually quite hard to scribble something without writing anything. Hi guys and welcome to my road to 10,000 subscriber series. Every Thursday I will draw one of your suggestions. So let me know down in the comments what you would like me to draw. And please help me out here. Subscribe, turn on post notifications and share my channel on social media. Together we can do it! My name is Dr. Rocker and now it's time to draw. Johnny Coyle wanted me to draw Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And Abhishek Sangale wanted me to draw US Agent. So I will draw all three of these characters in one drawing. Cause they fit together perfectly. The smart way to approach this would be to sketch out a thumbnail with all those characters. So you know which pose you want to use with all of them. But never said I want to be smart. <laughs> Well, I just want to have fun. I just will draw one of these characters and then I will find a way to fit the others in the drawing as well. So, let's go! John Walker is one of the few people to have taken on the role of Captain America. He quit when he realized Steve Rogers was better suited to the role. John reappeared working for the government as US agent before joining the West Coast Avengers. He later led the Thunderbolts. His extreme patriotism often leads to arguments with fellow heroes. The US agent possesses superhuman strength and endurance and heals rapidly from injury. He also possesses lightning reflexes and superhuman agility, which enhance his natural acrobatic abilities. His vibranium shield is inscribed with the names of those who have fallen fighting for the USA. I really like this character. He's very similar to Captain America, but still very cool dude. Okay, I guess I'm done with the first character. And although he's not perfect, I'm very proud because I'm, I was very daring with this one. I really only did a very quick sketch and then went in with the inks already. And the strong blacks I didn't sketch out at all. And these have been a pain. Those are the names of all the fallen soldiers he has engraved on his shield. It's actually quite hard to scribble something without writing anything. You can see the area between the chest muscles and the stomach muscles. This one is a little bit too big. And this leg is a little bit too wide, but I can fix that later. And the eyes might be a little bit too far apart from each other. And when I was done with the nose, it looked like this. You can see this nostril is a bit too high, so I just made this. I just exaggerated and let him use the muscle of this side of the nose. And all of a sudden it looked cool again, because he's kind of doing this. Which means sometimes it's okay to do many mistakes if you know a way to fix them later. But now it's time for the next character, the Winter Soldier, James Buchanan Barnes, Bucky. So what do we know about Bucky? He lost his father in the Second World War, was adopted by the soldiers from Camp Lake. He became Captain America's sidekick, but also secretly trained with the SAS from the UK for some extra tricks, I guess. Bucky was thought to have died vainly when trying to defuse a bomb on a plane. And yes, that's the same thing for what Captain America was entombed in the ice for some years. However, his body was found by the Soviets. They made him the Winter Soldier special agent. He got his really strong extra human strength cybernetic arm and he's a very very good marksman especially with sniper rifles so good thing he ended up being one of the good guys again Here we have the Winter Soldier in pencils. 
I used an H pencil lead for the Winter Soldier, which means it's actually a bit darker than my 2H or 3H I use usually. And now the plan is to take this space right here for the Falcon. But I want to try something new. Since the US agent is done in inks and the Winter Soldier done in pencils with an H lead, I want to try to do the Falcon also just in pencils, but with a harder lead. I will use a free H for this one, so it will be even lighter than this drawing. Which means this should produce a very cool 3D effect. And to make sure not to smudge everything, I will not draw directly on this one, but I will use an extra piece of paper, a really thin one, to sketch out the Falcon. This way I can use my friend the eraser as much as I want, and I will not be smudging the H drawing from the Winter Soldier because it's very smudgy. So let's sketch. Sam Wilson, the Falcon, was a criminal until he met evil mastermind the Red Skull, who gave Sam the ability to communicate telepathically with his pet Falcon, Red Wing. The Skull planned to have Sam befriend his arch enemy, Captain America, and later betray the Cap. But the scheme failed. Sam's heroic nature overcame the Skull's programming and he became a crime fighter instead. Over the years, Sam has developed the ability to communicate with all worlds, not just Red Wing. Advanced technology from the Black Panther gave the Falcon the ability to fly. And of course, he has exceptional fighting skills. Okay people, I am done. And Lawrence wants to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> this was my fastest full page comic book drawing, I guess. It still took quite some hours. But hey, three characters, that's a lot of work. The effect with the two different pencils wasn't as strong as I was hoping for, but still you can see it a little bit at least. What I like about this piece is the composition. I really tried to be dark down here and get lighter and lighter. And the metallic wings of Falcon are the perfect end of the drawing. Three pretty cool dudes in one drawing. So again, thank you for watching my friends, I really appreciate all your support. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. We have a lovely community, so welcome! Also, don't forget to let me know down in the comments, what should I draw next? And should you like pencil drawings, like I did today with Winter Soldier and Falcon right here, then check out this video! That's where I drew David and Meredith Finch. I did this for David's 100,000 subscribers special. I also filled the whole page, but all in pencils, so check this out if you haven't already. So, see you there.